Hello everyone, this is Kai. Um, as you may know, um, almost a year and a half ago, I developed a software package called CSRL um, that attempt to control CSTARS on a desktop or laptop or Raspberry Pi. Um, it's gone quite well and quite a few people used it. Um, give you history, the CSRL was actually named um, after Alpaca ASCOM driver. Um, that's where the ELP came from. Um, initially, I wanted to create a, a ASCOM driver that's a cross-platform, and Alpaca flavor is that um, spec that allowed me to do that. Um, but I went beyond that um, to do um, to more in great um, in-depth control and finer controls of C stars. But um, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, today, I want to share with you something that was uh, um, pointed out to me by actual CWO it itself uh, by some developers there, that they're working on an actual Alpaca implementation, an actual ASCOM driver that would uh, allow you to control C star using Alpaca standard. Um, and this is what I'm going to show you. Uh, in fact, this is already implemented and deployed in the current firmware as of uh, October. Um, I think the firmware is actually a month old already. So I'm sure more, everybody have it. I'm actually surprised ZWO did not uh, make more announcement out of this. But um, since they didn't, I might as well I'll show you what I, what, what I know and what it can do. Okay, so to get started, um, I'm going to launch uh, Nina, which is a, a very common and very flexible uh, software to control uh, many different astrophotography instruments uh, used by a lot of uh, pros and amateurs alike. Um, I've set it up so that it's uh, controlling my S30. So here I'll show you how it looks like. So this is it right here. So um, <clears throat> and to connect, I want to set it up, and which I'll show you again later on to how it's configured, which is pretty simple. Um, I just tell it to connect to all the different modules. So here is con connected to the camera, connect to the filter wheel, to the telescope and focuser. And all that is uh, controlled. Um, let me go right up here. So you can see, um, I can tell the, I can move the mount. Let me do that here. So let me move it up. Here we go. There it is. All right, move a little sideways. All right, <clears throat> um, I can uh, interact with the camera just like any other cameras. So, for example, um, let's take some uh, looping image of the camera itself. I can set the gain. Let's say it's any gain I want. And I'll take right now 0.2 second exposures. There it goes. So I can change to dark. So if I want to collect dark frames, I can. There we go. Of course, I can change to light pollution filter as well. Now I can change the focus wheel. Let's say do that. Let's 
So let's see this, there it goes. So if it were, let's go back to normal one so you can see it better. There we go. So, um, and I can operate just like any amount. Watch this. Um, I can grab position from the mount. So it's telling me it's pointing this position. Let's say I want to move it to here. I can go ahead and stop the imaging so I can tug to go center and then move there it goes there it is I can now with all this, I can set up any kind of sequence I want. If anybody knows the, um, actually the simpler one, let's say I want to um, add a sequence. Let's do the simple one. Um, let's say do lights twenty seconds. Actually, well, I'm gonna do twenty seconds. Probably twenty seconds. I'm gonna set the gain. And it will actually start acquiring images. Okay. But as you can see, the full functionality of CSTAR um, in terms of uh, able to control individual parts are now exposed through an API that can be used by any Alpaca compliant uh, applications. Okay, so let me show you how this is all uh, configured. Let me disconnect. So Alpaca allow you to um, discover devices. So if I search, this is scanning for devices it will find one right here. So it, anyone that's exposed and connected to your network will be discoverable here. And I connect, and connect. There it goes. Same thing about filter wheels, focusers, and mounts. It's quite useful. Let me try this here. Here it is. Here it is. I can check the tracking rates. The I can tell to go home. Here it is. So um, I'm very excited that uh, ZWO uh, exposed and create this uh, functionality directly in firmware. So it, uh, I'll, I'll definitely make use of it. Um, as for my CISA help, I'm still using that in the federation mode, um, in which case uh, I can control multiple of these in my software. And I'll, I'll create another videos uh, demonstrating some of the functionalities there. But for now, um, just wanna show you that ZWOs are actually not 
not not um, resting on its laurel. It's a uh, keep on improving. So I'm, I'm very excited about what they exposed here. Um, all right, uh, that's what I want to show you, and um, have fun.